Okay, so this is this is something that I figured out the hard way. Sometimes the battery, or when you flip the switch, there's a there's a uh, relay up in the motor. That's the charging relay that allows the system to charge. So I read about this on the internet, but I didn't find any pictures or anything to describe it. So here's what we'll show you. And here you can see I've got a coolant leak up here in the front, steam coming off. Um, looks like maybe I've got a leak. I can't tell if it's running back and dripping off because of the fan blowing it, or if it's if it's uh, a leak of the head gasket. So we're going to rebuild this engine eventually. But right here is the relay. This is a six volt generator. Uh, somebody's done a little bit of electrical work in it. So when you hit the key, the charge comes down here and turns on this relay. If this relay sticks, then basically when the engine's turned off, you're using the battery to try and run this permanent magnet generator as a motor. And of course it doesn't have the juice to push anything and so you just burn out your battery real fast. Um, the way to fix that is you come right here and you pull the top off of the relay and there's the relay. Oh look at that, I'm leaking a little bit right there on that bolt too. So yeah, we need a rebuild. Might be part of why it's not running so well. So this is a keeper, it's supposed to be fiberglass or something on there, it looks like it's broken off. but. Um, when that guy's down, so what you end up having to do is break that loose so that your system starts stops eating all the batteries up. Um, a lot of people, from what I've read, have uh, put in a uh, master switch on the battery so that they don't have to worry about that. If it sticks, it sticks. If it doesn't, who cares? Um, and some people, as I understand it, have come up with a solid state way of doing it. Something else to notice, as long as we're here, the battery is here under this floor panel. Pop up this floor panel just like this, and there's the battery in there. And again, you notice this is the positive terminal going to ground. This is the negative terminal going to whatever. It's not like there's any electronics in here. So that's all we're going to do today. That was a funny noise. And uh, I'm going to stop there. I will pull this back into the, back into the uh, garage.